Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, this study of the book of Philippians, it's, it's so exciting. And I, I, I wish you've been studying it yourself, verse by verse. Like I said, I would love to do that. But you know what? If you have any question, you can send it to me through any of the pl uh, platforms on showing on the screen you can send to me and then we are going to take our time to do some question and answer broadcast so as you study god's word as you live the christian walk if there's anything that's difficult for you you need some help or you need some explanation oh we are going to be we are more than glad to help you praise god so send us a message now maybe next week or upper week we're going to take our time to look at some of those questions and answer them on the broadcast so especially those ones those questions that we feel not just answering you now we feel will be a blessing to every other person so we'll pick out those questions and and do the the broadcast with it but then we'll also answer you personally if you want that also praise god so don't don't hold back if anything is being a challenge to you any scripture you don't understand I'm here to help you. Praise God. Now then, let's just skip chapter 3 and just go to chapter 4. And, and look at what he says, verse 8. Philippians 4, 8. It says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true. <laughs> Praise God. Whatever things are noble. Whatever things are just whatever things are pure whatever things are lovely whatever things are of good reports if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy meditate on these things now he's just told you what you should spend your mind on things that are true things that are noble things that are just, things that are pure, things that are lovely, things that are of good reports. That's, that's what you should spend your time on. Now, this means anything that is not going to edify you, knock it off. Now, that's why he says, finally. You know, in the whole letter he wrote from, from chapter 1. Now, remember, it's a letter. So, he, and when he was writing the letter, he didn't write chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. It's when they were compiling the scriptures together, they did that for reference purpose. So just read the whole thing straight and you'll see so much in there. So he says, this one, he says, finally, this is what you should meditate on. This is what you should spend your time thinking about. And listen, when you spend your time thinking about these things, look at what he says. He says, the things which you have let, which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Don't spend your time in the wrong things. Don't spend your time thinking about the wrong things. Don't spend your time worrying over the wrong things. Remember what, what the scripture says. Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God, and he will exalt you in due time. How? He says, by casting all your cares upon him. You know, in your finances, in your health, you need to take a, a mighty step by humbling yourself under God's mighty hand. How? Say, Father, maybe you work somewhere and you know the salary doesn't go anywhere. And now you're thinking, should I get a new job? Should I do a business? Or what should I do? Now your mind is troubled. Or maybe you've received some doctor's report and, and they don't look pleasant. Now what do I do? Maybe the doctors say that, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. And then it's, it's against everything that you think. What do I do? See, you get to that point where I'm not going to meditate on this thing because number one, is it true? Is this med medical report true? Is this bank statement true? Is that the true picture of things? Now, when I say true, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. So when he says whatever is true, he's not saying, okay, my, my door is in this position that is the truth he is talking about what is true in heaven concerning you praise god that's what he's talking about so that medical report is it true that financial situation is it true that report you have just received is it true if it is not true don't meditate on it rather take the truth 
and put it on it. Okay, this is the medical report I have received. It's a fact. But what is the truth concerning it? What has God said about my health? Now, you put it there. And when you put it there, you go before the Lord and say, Father, I humble myself under your mighty hand. I bring myself under your word, which is your truth. And I demand that the full effectiveness of your truth takes charge of my life. Because that's what I'm going to meditate on. That's what I'm going to think about where this is concerned. So Lord, I'm open to your word. I'm open to your voice. And I'm open to your truth. That you will guide me that I, because I'm walking in your truth. When you do that, hear me, soon, the spirit of God guiding you step by step, that medical report is going to change. That financial state is going to change. Whatever thing, whatever bad news you have received is going to change. And that's why I pray for you right now. That the spirit of God will guide you into every truth of your life. And I pray that the Lord will carry you and place you exactly where he has ordained for you to be right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare in the name of Jesus that a miracle is taking place in your body right now. Be healed of every sickness. Be healed of every disease. I command you to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command that position that is yours. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Let the angels of God go bring your portion. And let them bring it to where you will see it. And there you receive it and be glad in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Have a wonderful weekend and let God be praised in your life. This is Atuba George. Until next week, God bless you. Bye-bye.